Hope you are doing fine. Yeah, this afternoon we are going to talk about trigonometry. Trigonometry. But at the end of the lesson, we are going to define and compute the target, the cosine, and the sine of the trigonometric ratios that we have. And at the end of the lesson, too, you should be able to calculate the target, and then the cosine, and then the sine of the trigonometric ratios that we are going to introduce to. And again, you should be able to find the inverse of trigonometric ratios. I'll be a fine. Good. Now let's start by defining the trigonometry. Now when it comes to the idea or the theory behind trigonometry, it means that trig was derived from two Greek words. The first word was called the trigonal. It means that triangle. And then the other one is called metro. Some books you can see metro. The same idea. It means that we are talking about measurement. Now, when we talk about trigonometry, what is the full definition of it? We quoting from the Greek words. First one means the trigonon and then the metra, meaning the triangle measurement. It means that the idea of trigonometry is to measure the length, is to measure the length and then the interior angles of triangles. I hope you will agree. Good. So it means that when we have triangles, and I know you know a lot of triangles that we have. The first triangle that you can talk of is, uh -huh, who can help me? Yeah, gentlemen. Right angle triangle. And then which other triangle can you talk about? Isosceles what? Triangle. So with all these triangles that we have mentioned, we are going to measure their length and then their interior what? angles. So it means that when we talk about trigonometry, we are going to measure the interior angles and then the length of these triangles. I hope you are okay. Good. So first of all, if I want to consider the right angle triangle as my gentleman said, if I have here to be A, here to be B, and here to be C, then based on this, then we can come out with the three main trigonometric ratios. And then the three main trigonometric ratios that we have, the first one is called sine. The first one is called what? Sine. And then the second one is called cosine. And then the other one that we have is called target. Are we comfortable? Yes. Now, when we talk about the sine, what is it? When we talk about cosine, what is it? And then the target of an angle too. What is the meaning of that? So let's start by introducing what we call sine. Sine. Now, sine is one of the trigonometric ratios that we just mentioned. Now, we are going to talk about the sine of an angle. The sine of what? An angle. So the sine of an angle, we can say sine, so it becomes sine what? Theta. So sine theta. We're using the right angle triangle. It's going to be opposite over hypotenuse. Are we comfortable? Good. So the side of the angle, which is theta, per the diagram that we have. We have the angle here, and this is the opposite of this triangle. So the line will be what? Uh -huh. Which line are we going to talk about? You said? Line what? AC and then over the hypotenuse, it will be what? Line B what? Beautiful. 
Now, let's move on to cosine. Cosine, so it becomes cos of the angle, which is equal to the adjacent over what? Hypotenuse. Are we comfortable? Good. So we have the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Now, it means that we have the cos of the angle per the diagram. What would be the adjacent? Like what? A, B. And then over the hypotenuse becomes what? Like B, C. Beautiful. Now, the target of the angle should be equal to the side of the angle over the cos of the angle. So per what we have written, we can say that tan theta is equal to cos theta. That is sin theta over what? Cos theta. Now what is sin theta per this? We have line AC over line what? BC. Then multiply line BC over what? Line what? AB. So we can see that this can cancel that. Therefore, we have tan of the angle which is equal to line AC over line what? BC. At a normal circumstance, if you want to use the opposite and the adjacent, it's going to be the tan of the angle is equal to, uh -huh, is equal to what, what we have. That is the opposite over adjacent. So let's go. We have, uh -huh, we have line AC over what? Line AB. So you can see that this is equal to what we have been able to deduce. Are you okay there? So per what we have. Now let's speak an example to find the length and then the angles of these triangles. Example, let's pick first example and see. Diagram. ABC is a right angle triangle. ABC is a right angle triangle. So let's have our figure. Good. Now with this, with this, let's try to find the three main trigonometric ratios that we have been introduced to. So the first one, let's find side of the angle, side theta. And then what we have done, we said that side of the angle is equal to uh -huh, opposite over hypotenuse. Is that also? So for this diagram, where is our opposite? 8 over 17, and this is the answer for sine theta. Now let's move on to cos theta. Uh -huh. Cos theta is what? 15 over 17, which is the adjacent over what? Hypotenuse. And then the last one, which is sine theta, is equal to what? 8 over 15. So ladies and gentlemen, because of the time, we are going to end here, okay? We are going to end here, and I'll give you one exercise to work on. Are you okay then? So, for the whole thing that we have done this afternoon, we started by the definition of the trigonometry. That is where the trigonometry came from. And we said that it comes from the Greek word, that is the trigonon and metra, which means the triangle word, measurement. And we have been able to go through the three main trigonometric what? ratio. That is the sine, the cos, and what? The time. Are you okay there? So please, let's pick one assignment and then we work on that so that next week or wherever we meet, we can go through.